Hey, Mind Managers. Today I'm going to talk about co-editing using the Mind Manager for Microsoft Teams application. Co-editing in this application is super simple. All you have to do is open a file because any file that you open in this application is automatically ready and available for co-editing. Let me show you how that works. I'll open this Zephyr project plan here. The way that it works is that anytime you open a file that someone else is already editing, you're going to immediately start co-editing with them. And so we'll show that here. As you can see, Richard Ashton is already inside of this uh, file and he's editing uh, a topic here called web app. You can see there he just updated the progress. So you'll see the changes that other users make in real time. While this topic is selected though by Richard, you won't be able to edit that topic and that's to prevent conflicts from happening in changes in the map. But once he's done with that topic, you'll see that his selected frame will move somewhere else. Just like that, he's now selected mobile app. Once that's happened, I can go ahead and go in there and make any changes I need to make. For example, changing priority or changing the text. If you want to see the people who are in the co-editing session, you can click here on the right to view the participants. And you'll notice that the cursors are shown for other people. If that starts to be too much for you, you can always turn that off here at the bottom where it says show cursors. Okay, uh, so that's co-editing in Microsoft Teams. Uh, thanks a lot and have a great day.